Hi, in this uh, video I'm going to have a look at the Tidelands event in uh, Misty Continent. I haven't played it before, so I won't be able to uh, give you that much insight, but if you haven't played it yet, you can uh, you can have a look at it together with, uh, with me. I didn't even bother to uh, change my settings. So normally uh, with this kind of event we can uh, You can uh, take uh, select some temporary boost. I tend to want to select more combat benefits. Scouting and march speed is march speed is also nice. Gathering speed. Uh, unity also seems nice. You might check with your uh, the people in your alliance to give you some instructions. Maybe they prefer you to uh, look at certain uh, uh, use certain boosts. So yeah, I don't know if I'm a bit f familiar with similar events from other games, so a bit need to capture these buildings and then uh, yeah, you can gather, you can occupy them and get some points. So that is what we will try to do. But as I also said, the buildings in the center tend to give more points, so they are more important. But grabbing something at the beginning is also not uh, not a bad idea. Normally, uh, during these type of events, you cannot uh, lose troops, or you, I mean, you will temporarily lose troops, but all troops will be returned at the end of the game, or you lose kind of a copy of your troops of how, or how they formulate it. Anyway, when the event is over, you haven't lost any troops, whatever you have done. But uh, of course, during the event, you will, uh, yeah, you will uh, lose troops, or your troops will be injured, so you do have to uh, play smart. I was a bit afraid I was late, but actually it doesn't really start exactly at uh, um, yeah, the beginning time that was announced, so that's not so bad. Still be inclined to just go for uh, one of these. So let's see. yet I should be able to port uh, I haven't really prepared a good march not very smart 
Oh well, that was stupid. Should definitely prepare a good uh, march and I was, uh, it seems my focus has been more, I haven't done player first player for a while, so my march setup's more focused on uh, killing barbarians and, uh, or what is it, I call it barbarians, killing the undead camps and uh, and this kind of stuff, so. Am I the only one porting out? Is the rest staying uh, at home? I'm assuming some will port to the center. Yeah. Can we see anything? So after a certain time being in there, then the uh, occupation is successful and then you start gathering points. Uh, the points guide, uh, we get some first time control for solo and the alliance and then continuous 600 points per minute, solo point 60 per minute. And the different buildings also have different uh, effects. So this one has a benefit of uh, March capacity 10% not that interesting i mean interesting for the big players but not really for uh, for me so they grabbed a lot of buildings we didn't grab our buildings which is a bit of a pity i would expect like the smaller players at least uh, grab them but they didn't mm, here is the first fight okay well it's actually i think one of our bigger players so that is nice so this one doesn't have any benefit. Uh, let's see what the action is all about. It seems uh, they also are there. Now, compared to me, these are all big players. I'm just a small fry. We also have some bigger ones so could be that they are going to have a good fight together they don't speed up the march the other one does or So that seems to be a win for us, although sometimes there is a bit of a delay. So you cannot be completely sure. We already are a bit behind. So the question is, are we going to make up? For now, it seems yeah, once these all start gathering, we have five buildings, including the center. They have four, so then we should be, it should be in favor for us. And this takes a bit longer to occupy as well, as you see. Could be. Uh, so it's only a few that uh, or maybe yeah only some that have uh, an additional benefit doesn't seem to be too exciting actually looking at it this one gives quite some points so the question is really what happens if we have all these buildings how fast do we add points compared to them at this moment we are the same but i assume uh, let's we should be able to see that 
Uh, that adds a lot of alliance points if you are able to be in that one. Uh, I still have some marches. Should I see if I can uh, reinforce this one? Uh, there's also a risk that I will be attacked. But anyway, this is basically what it is about. I don't know if I should make a very long video about it. Doesn't seem to be too much action going on actually. Seems these guys, I haven't seen them, I haven't seen any reports. So not sure how strong they are compared to our strong players. It's always interesting to see. Uh, Somebody scouting. And yeah, we already sent some troops not to make it too easy. We really sent a lot of low level troops. Okay, well, maybe I'll just leave it like this, just to give an idea of the event. So yeah, it's a one hour event. It's about getting uh, the most points. And as you can see, the, yeah, the center building plays a very important role in there. If you look at the building that I take, that I took, that is 600 points and looking back, That was also a scout, not yet too familiar. So that is a big difference. So six times the points for the middle one. And also these two flooded temples also give uh, a lot of, uh, of points per minute as well. So if we can hold on to the center and this one, maybe these two as well. I mean, this one doesn't really matter that much. Uh, anything to say about, can we have a look at the, uh, what, another scout, not so interesting. Just wondering, can we have a look at what we can actually win? Do they show that? Thailand's enter clash info rewards. Here get some victory rewards and some points rewards. Of course you want to get enough solo points to get all rewards. The solo points also keep adding. So it's good to be in uh, various buildings so that you can also, maybe I should send my troops out to more different uh, buildings. I think the uh, Abyssal cri Crystal is probably the most interesting of the rewards because with those you can purchase things in the uh, in the shop and that can uh, uh, that can be interesting so pick out some things that uh, yeah that you really need you can always fall back on resources but probably there are more interesting things so for example to get new gemstones seems a lot of uh, focus you can get some research speed ups so try to buy something for your uh, for the credits that you receive and that way you can improve your account further let's see oh 
Uh, now somebody is going to attack me. Uh, I assume not me, but the yeah the building I occupy. But that's okay. I think I'm going to see if I can also add some troops in here. Yeah, I can. To get some more points. See if I can add some troops. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that second one was not too <laughs> impressive. So I don't know if he's already running out of troops. He didn't send many troops. Maybe something went wrong with his uh, march, or he's really already out of troops. That is also possible. So injured troops go into the hospital. Let's see if we do a one minute heal. I don't think we get any helps. Okay. Well, things seem quite okay. I should really improve my account further. Uh, just been growing quite slowly and not been playing that this game as much as I plan to. And then, yeah, you can see I'm really lacking in the development of my account while the other more active players who may also spend a bit uh, already, uh, there's quite a gap. I mean, uh, being uh, Stronghold 21 or Stronghold 24, 25, 26 is really a big uh, difference. So you can instant heal for certain coins, uh, but I'm not going to do that. You can also slowly heal. Actually, yeah, of course, the event is not so long, so six minutes is still quite a significant time. That's why you might better want to heal in small batches. So, yeah. Somebody scouting me, yeah, not so strange. So it could be that they hit me. Uh, some of their strong players probably can uh, wipe me out, but that's not really, uh, not really an issue. Normally, if I'm hit, start burn, I can maybe port back to the to the safe area and then uh, occupy some buildings from there. It's not something to be worried about being hit here. I don't know why they go for this building, probably because it's uh, weakest, but um, share some battle report for my friends Okay. So 
So that is something extra. Do I see that on the map? By the time I get there, maybe it's already uh, over. times we have to hit this okay there are some mines that we can uh, gather on Okay, so this is nice, just basically giving you some extra benefits for the one alliance who deals the final uh, damage, so that's quite nice. Therefore, it's good to read this through, but there's no, it doesn't seem to be an, anything very interesting. Aborted. People like to scout me. Uh, the opposition alliance has slain the XOC. How am I? Do we also have some? I'm um, rank 11 with 7,000 points. How much do I really need? Mm, quite a bit more, but okay. The game, the event uh, is still uh, going on for quite some time. And I'm not in the center, that really limits the, uh, the amount of points that I'm gathering. And it seems they ha now have their eyes on me, want to hit me, so that uh, might be a bit of a problem. Oh, mm. I don't know how many troops I still have at home, otherwise I should recall some. I can at least uh, finish these troops that I was uh, already training. Um, I think I should be able to see here. No, yeah, probably lower tier troops, but I hope it's enough to uh, um, still beat this uh, incoming guy, the Stronghold 18. Or did I, in the end, go to the center? Did I? We forgot. Oh. I didn't realize I even went. already forgot that I went there. So my points should actually accumulate uh, quite a bit uh, now. As long as I'm not beaten.
should keep healing troops. Uh, the point difference do not accumulate so far. What's going on? Did we? Oh, we lost uh, this one. That uh, that is quite a uh, quite a bit of an issue. And there are some iron mines. Well, I'm not going to do that now. Just first to wait for those incoming attacks. Two different attacks. Uh, Stronghold 22, that might be a bit of a problem. We'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, caused me to burn. I don't know if that is a very big problem. A lot of troops in the hospital. better let's focus on the higher tier oh okay well that's what i expected kind of uh, like if you're beaten you go back to that uh, home place the bad thing is now uh, let's the bad thing is that i'm all the way back so that my troops are removed from all buildings, but uh, the good thing is that uh, I'm not completely wiped out yet, <laughs> or at least let's see that as a positive uh, thing. Just trying to reinforce some buildings. With as much as I uh, have. Should definitely prepare better next time uh, with my troops. Uh, And it uh, really helps to have really a huge amount of troops uh, for this event. Okay, I will just leave it uh, leave it like this. I hope this gives you some idea. If you are not yet familiar with the event, I still have to learn a lot. Uh, for this specific event, I've played similar events in uh, similar games, but uh, this was the first time for this specific event. I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions or any comments, that is always much appreciated. And thanks for watching this video.